I'm going to get a second coat of the uh, rubber cement on this part, letting it dry. And while it's drying, I'm starting to stitch the front. So I'll finish that up and come back. I just finished the stitching on the front here. Now I'll um, attach this and make the holes and stitch that up as well. I finished stitching the belt loop on and the front's done so I'm ready to glue the two halves together. So I'll do that and come back and then the next thing to do is make the holes for the stitching around the edge. I've uh, glued the front onto the back now. I'm going to go ahead and make the holes for the stitching and stitch it before I trim it off because it may move slightly. I want it to line up correctly once I trim this off. So I'll go ahead and make the holes and start stitching. I've got the holes made. I'm going to start stitching. First stitch I have to even the two needles out. Okay, I've got it started. I'll go ahead and finish that up. Okay, I finished stitching the edge around the perimeter here. Now I'm going to trim off this leather. Okay, I need to um, bevel this edge and I'll have to restain this edge or re dye it a little bit. Okay, the next thing is is to put a little bit of dye on here. I'm going to try to apply this very lightly so that I don't dye the thread. I don't want it soaking through to the thread. Okay, that's it. Give that a few minutes to dry. I put the cell phone in here. One of the last things to do is to make the hole for this stud. So I pressed it on here to make a dent in there. And I'm going to punch a hole through. hard to see. Okay, and then a smaller hole.
cut a line between the two. I think I'm going to put one more coat of sealer on it to seal up the thread and everything. That way it won't absorb colors. Okay, just let that dry and uh, it'll be done. I may end up burnishing the edges just a little bit as well. Okay, the project is complete. Hope you enjoyed the series.